Have you heard of the other theories of consciousness, like the integrated information theory and Daniel Dennett and so on? What do you think of them? Well, let's go IIT. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that IIT is uh, several things. So it starts out, if you look at the axioms of IIT, with the um, phenomenologist description of consciousness. It describes what consciousness feels like from the inside. So for instance, you have this uh, uh, impression of a here and now. And this uh, here and now is distinct from the physical here and now, I think. It's something that uh, IIT, as far as I'm aware, doesn't really emphasize, but it's pretty clear that uh, from the perspective of the here and now and consciousness, uh, the physical universe is, is not in that here and now and cannot be. Because uh, we often construct the conscious experience after the fact or predictively, which means the, the here and now of physics is uh, smeared out. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, we are able to experience things consciously that don't, don't happen physically. Not just because we are simplifying them, but uh, because we uh, merge the features uh, of our models in a way that is not compatible with the physical universe, but that is useful to the control of the physical universe. So basically, the contents of our consciousness are determined by what makes up a useful control model, not by what's physically possible and what's physically happening. The other aspect of IIT is uh, its denial of functionalism. So IIT, in some sense, is, uh, makes metaphysical assumptions. And these metaphysical assumptions, uh, I, I suspect, amount to panpsychism, which means that um, consciousness is, in some sense, inseparable from matter or from the background of the universe. Therefore, it must be an intrinsic property of matter itself. You could say, imagine you uh, cannot determine what color is. And if you look with, with the microscope, you cannot see what color is made of. Right, color doesn't have components, so uh, color must uh, be an intrinsic part of matter. Color is not made by matter; it's inseparable from matter. Every matter contains color, right? Right. And this is almost correct, but it's not because uh, if you zoom in at a certain point, there is no more color. Color only makes sense as a kind of interpretation of uh, what we sense about matter, and I think that's also true for consciousness. Right, it, uh, consciousness only exists within minds, not within the physical universe. And so in some sense, IIT, I think, is putting the locus of consciousness into a domain where it doesn't belong. And then there are the technical aspects of the implementation of uh, uh, the IIT theory, uh, IIT, that uh, is this factor of phi, the measure of integration. Right, right, right. And uh, th there are some good aspects about this. Uh, so th in the sense that uh, your own neocortex is um, integrating information in such a way that when a lot of it is synchronized uh, and is uh, stored uh, in an intentional protocol, then you will probably have a larger focus of your uh, attentional awareness than what you have when your uh, consciousness is highly fragmented and your, uh, this will be reflected in the fragmentation of the cortical contents, which means that a lot of it is not firing in synchrony. And this is being described to some degree by phi, but uh, this is a relatively small aspect in I of, uh, of phi. And I think if you go deeper and try to make more out of phi, then it falls apart because you it's no longer necessary and sufficient condition. You don't know what gradual uh, states of phi mean and so on. So uh, I, I don't think that I buy IIT at this point. It's not explaining how this phenomenon comes about and it's uh, descriptive. And it uh, has uh, metaphysics that cannot be evidenced, that are not predictive.